So last week, I ran this public demo of my OpenGL game called Fight Poker. Fight Poker is an online 1v1 poker game that I've been developing for months. So in today's video, I want to talk about the most important lessons I learned from doing this in hopes that they can help you. So the way I started this was by creating an itch post for the game. I already had a Windows installer set up as I've been working on this for a while, so I created a post and said it was Windows only and created a YouTube video telling people to play the game. I then set up a server running the game and then allowed people to play it for one week. So here are the main things that I would have done differently looking back. Number one, adding a bot. So when I made it, the game originally could only be played against a bot, but as I started to update it, I moved it to multiplayer and I never really added the bot back in. So when I created this public demo, the only way that you could get a match would be if two people were on at the same time and then the server would pair them and they could play a game. And this did happen a few times. However, the issue was that the majority of people when they connected on, no one else was online. So they would just sit there for like 30 seconds and then get bored and disconnect. And this wasn't great as I didn't get as many play tests as I would have liked as only a few games happened. So what I would have done is when you're in that waiting screen, if someone's waiting for more than 10 seconds, I would have given them a little prompt saying, hey, no one's in queue, do you want to play a bot? Number two, disconnecting. Now this is something I actually did pretty well with. So I was thinking about this ahead of time and I added a lot of systems that handle all the edge cases when people disconnect either waiting in lobby or during a game. As from the server's perspective, you have no control over when someone leaves your game. So I had two solutions. The first one was that whenever someone joined the queue, before the game would check to match players, it would first do a quick run through and any player who was disconnected would be automatically kicked from the queue. So you could join waiting queue and disconnect all you want, and it would never pair you against a person that had disconnected, but was there at one point. The other way I did it is through timers. So after a certain point, this timer will tick down on both player screens. And once that timer hits zero, both sides are forced to end their turn. And it adds a little bit of pressure to the game, which is a nice side effect. But the main point of this is that if someone leaves mid game, the game will keep going and they just sort of play with the cards they have and will most likely not win. Number three, cross-platform. So when I originally released the demo, I only had it for Windows. Later on during the week, I spent a long time trying to make a Linux build of the game, which I could get to work on my virtual machine running Linux. However, the issue was that CMake makes it very easy to build the file. However, a lot of other little tweaks have to be made before it really works. So one of them was trying to create an installer in the Linux system using a .deb file, and then I got that working. However, it still really didn't run that well as most Linux systems don't allow you to change the resolution of the screen, which my game does naturally when it full screens. So if you're going to make your game cross-platform and you're trying to get that all in, in a play test, I would recommend making sure it all works beforehand as it's a lot more work than it seems even if you set up the systems in CMake. And lastly, number four, testing at multiple locations. Now this one only really applies if you're hosting the server yourself, but if you are, I would test the game once on your internet connection and then once somewhere else that's not your internet connection. And this will just make sure that you can connect to the public IP right and it still works on your local IP as well. Or in some cases, you might have to have a two builds of it, one build for yourself, which is a local connect and then a public IP connect. And if you're hosting a server out though, you don't have to worry about this as every IP is just a public one. And if you're interested in the last video I made where I talked about setting up the play test and giving the links and explaining how to play fight poker, you should click on this video here. And until next time, see ya.